Grant Damien now. It's Grant Damien. The gold logie this year. Oh my god, it's Grant Damien. And our mom, Shazzy Damien. She's really crazy. And George, affectionately known as Large Sarge. It's all true. It's all true. The podcast with Grant and Shazzy Damien. And George. Hello, you lovely people out there. It's wonderful to be back on this beautiful podcast. Thanks for letting us into your lives for just a mere moment um, while we enjoy uh, riffing on the ways of the world, talking shit, having fun, <laughs> hanging crap on one another, learning about ourselves and just, you know, and having a good old fat time. George, how you doing? Grant, Danya, it is so good to hear your voice again. Great to have you back on the podcast. Um, it's, it, yeah, it, it feels it feels good. It feels like the band is back together. Um, I'm brilliant. It's good to see your beautiful face and hear those tones. Oh, it's good to have you here too. And Chaz, how are you? Good, thanks. Yeah, it's good. Today's a very, um, she's very short and um, to the point and succinct at the moment because we got, um, she's a little nervous because we got one of the most talked about, uh, downloaded when we're stopped on the street, just people want to talk about the time we had Matt Hale on the podcast and he hypnotized our little Giorgio and it yeah. was one of the most insane things I've ever experienced. Um, it was very funny. I don't know who George became, um, but she, I don't know who exciting I exciting yet reckless. Version. I know people who know you brother and they were like, Oh my God. Like he is one of the straightest, never swears, and he was just all out just tearing himself and others <laughs> apart. And we were in stitches. And can I just say how great it is to have the wonderful Matt Hale back with us, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, my goodness. I am so happy to be back. One of my favourite memories from this year was uh, spending some time with you guys. And uh, oh, I was good. like the just the vibes – just the vibes in the in in that podcast are amazing, but it was so much laugh, so much fun, and um, you know, it, it's lovely to you know, I, I and and genuinely, I, I don't go on every podcast on, and say this, but genuinely, I, I mean, I, I pop up on TV every now and then, and bits and pieces, I do various podcasts. No, I this is the podcast that more people have messaged me and talked to me about as well than I've ever done. <laughs> This is so funny because, yeah, we don't consider ourselves big players in the media space whatsoever. So the fact that you're getting hit up as much as we're getting hit yeah, up yeah, about yeah. the time you're on this podcast yeah. says a lot. George, can you remember your experience much before we sort of we, we move into what we're doing today? Yeah, I was just going to say, as soon as Matt came onto this call, um, I'm immediately just transfixed straight back onto you. So please don't put me under again, um, because I'm finding your voice very soothing. And I feel like if you told me to do something, I would do it. <laughs> no, no, George, George, honestly, yeah, you can remember what it felt like, right? It was an incredible experience. And I think the biggest takeaway yeah. for me was how I felt mm. afterwards. It was such... Um, a, a big moment of clarity as to what I wanted in, in the future. So it was almost like a, a moment of therapy whilst being very silly. That's uh, George. Uh, George yes. Just, Sorry, just yeah. a second, George. Yeah. Sleep now. Sleep now, George. Sleep now. Oh, Sleep oh now. you nearly nice got me. No, I saw legs. No, that's a relax. No, uh, that's a relax. That's a uh, relax. It's, it's, I nearly went down. I nearly went down. <laughs> you were almost there. <laughs> My head lowered. My head that, lowered. That, 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 that's what we call it. That's what we call a hit and run. That's a hit and run. There. That's it. I thought you were going. So again, I don't know how many months has passed since you did it, but can you mm. jump back in where you left off with the person if you, if you've, if you've had a session with them? Yeah, actually, so what, so what we'd normally, obviously, we're just having a bit of fun there, but it's just been a little bit silly there. But what, yeah, for, for George, it, very easy, within a couple of minutes, we'd be able to kind of like, you know, bring him back to where he was then, because he's already had the experience. So that experience lives somewhere in the back of the mind. So if we spend another minute together, you know, when, when we work with someone new, we're going to spend a, a bit more time on building up that process and getting used to that process. Uh, but with someone we've uh, done that before with, then of course, you know, I would only need to spend uh, you know, maybe a couple of minutes with George to be able to kind of do that again. And like, and obviously, you know, although we're just being a bit, a little bit silly there, you know, George, you know, you could genuinely, you could genuinely still feel like, Oh yeah. Okay. There's a, there's a little, 
there's something from back there is, is coming back, right? Yes. As soon as you said, George, as soon as I saw your big wide eyes uh, and you put your fingers up to the <laughs> camera and clicked, I was like, I can feel my head getting heavy. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's, it's just such amazing, all this stuff that sits in the back of our mind that uh, we, you know, is untapped until we need it. One of the beautiful things that I do remember about our experience, again, before we just move on to what we're doing today, was you, not only were we mucking around and you were getting George to review his own onstage career as part of theatre and musicals, which was hilarious. It was so much, oh my God, we're in stitches. But you, you gave him a little visualisation of his future life and what his career might look like. You got him to imagine it to try and, now correct me if I'm wrong, to try and kind of lock that down in his subconscious to give him a better chance of achieving, achieving his ultimate dream? Was, was that the task? Yeah, it, it would have been something like that. Um, basically, I, I, look, I, I think if anyone is good at doing this in that fun scenario, then why waste an opportunity to you know, further add weight to what they can achieve with other things now, Matt, I um, we've brought you back again because it was just such a hit last time. We'd love to do it again. I would like you to perhaps set up and and perhaps lead this podcast today because you're the man, you're the expert, you're the hypnotist to the stars, you're the man of the star of stage and screen. You do this all the time. What are we going to do today, Matt Hale? Well, it's what we've already done at some to, to some point, I guess. Uh, I we uh, Shetty. You know, very happily put her hand up to say, "Hey, we, you know, we'd love you to come back on the podcast, and I'd I'd like to experience it." Uh, so, so I've just done exactly what I did with George in the last podcast. We had a little work off, uh, I'd say, like off air, and the and the reason being for that is, is obviously, you know, people can listen to that full process and kind of kind of quite get relaxed and get into it themselves and. Um, you know, so we, we try and kind of keep that <laughs> distinct so that we've got all all your listeners you know, nice and alert as we go through the actual podcast, listening to the podcast. Uh, so, yeah, we've done that work with Shezzy off it. And, and that work, as I say, is literally uh, getting the mind used to thinking of something, making it feel real and, and twinning that with some real good relaxation, almost like, a, uh, I mean, Shezzy herself actually said it felt like a guided meditation. And that's exactly what it is. It's a guided, but you, you, it's a collaborative as well, because you're not just sat there with me kind of going, well, this is going to happen. Well, okay, fair enough. It's, you know, imagine this, and then you have to imagine it or feel this or direct your attention here. Come do, do that. All part of the process to be able to get to the point where, you, where you're so good enough with your imagination and your mind, you are able to relax it instantly. And, and that's that's the position we've, we've now got Shezzy to. Now she seems pretty blissed out next to me now. Um, <laughs> yeah. How uh, how can we help? Or, or can, we just allow, can we just open the floor and just allow you to weave your magic? Because I don't know what you've done to my wife, but if you can just tell her <laughs> in her mind that I'm actually six foot five and she can believe that forever, <laughs> that would be amazing. I, I, but Grant, if 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 that was possible, do you do you think a, a tiny man like me would still be as tiny as I am? <laughs> but no, we've so, uh, we've... <laughs> so Shizzy's lined up to be hypnotised. Um, yeah. What could be our first potential interaction here? Okay, well here's here's what I like to do. I I, lo I love. Part of what I do, and, and you've alluded to it, is uh, I always want to make people feel great. So first of all, I think what I'm going to do, I'm if, if Shezzy, are you happy to kind of get into that nice zone again? You, obviously, we can do that very quickly in an instant. Are you happy to do that, Shezzy? I am. Yes. Yeah. Okay. All right. Just we'll just concentrate very, uh, very closely, and just yeah, just remember how that felt those ten or fifteen minutes ago, and how you were instantly able to relax down and just take a deep breath in and out. And you'll always be safe on that seat, always supported, always relaxed. And sleep now, all the way down, Shezzy. Nice and relaxed. That's it. Nice and relaxed, all the way down. Oh my yeah. God, she's collapsed on my shoulder. Yeah. Nice and relaxed. Grant's there to support. You'll always be safe on your seat, never slipping, tipping, or falling. Always got the full support of everybody around you. Now, Shezzy, absolutely amazing. I want to make you feel really happy. Now, here's the thing, Shezzy. When I say one, two, eyes open, going twice as deep. Um, it doesn't matter what anybody says, whatever anyone says, no matter how normal, serious or funny it is to you, it will feel ridiculously funny. So the more people keep talking, whether it's myself or Grant or George, it will get funnier and funnier and funnier. You're going to laugh 
louder, longer, and better, and feel absolutely fantastic. Doesn't matter what Grant, George, or myself says, the moment we start speaking, it gets funnier and funnier and funnier. Just nod your head if you understand. She's not good. Yeah, it's good. I'm going to see that. So, uh, Shezzy, one, two, and eyes open, going twice sleep. Hey, Shezzy. Oh, it's so nice to be back here, especially after the morning I've had today. I mean, I stubbed my toe when I got out of bed this morning, which is, uh, hang on, that's, uh, that's, you stubbed that's your toe. Oh. Yeah, I stubbed my toe. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's it. Yeah. And then I, do you know what? I went and got a coffee down the road and then suddenly spilt the coffee down me. There was a waste of money and a waste of pair of pants. Oh my, oh my God. You've had a terrible day. Sorry. I, I have. I, I mean, how's, how's your day been going, Grant? All good? Yeah, it was okay. Yeah, just played with my kids. One of them, oh, one of them broke her toe. Actually, funny you should say that oh. you hurt yourself. Yeah. <laughs> Scout broke broke her toe kicking a soccer ball. Oh, that's awful. I mean, yeah, normally I mean, you know, I mean, parents don't laugh about that sort of thing. Sorry, but... no. no, that's. I just... it's uh, it's... You're right. <laughs> okay, okay. I... Oh, no, hey I, I guys, thought, I, the vibe kind of I, nice I'll just quickly add to the mix. Um, I hung the clothes out this morning yeah. on the clothesline. Um, went to work, yeah. came back, and and yeah. somebody stolen all of them. No, <laughs> no, they're all gone. That is terrible. Well, like you good, you good, you good that, clothes. That's all. <laughs> I had like R M Williams and Ariat and like really expensive clothing, and it's it's just been taken away from me. That's hundreds of dollars worth of clothes, George. You've had a terrible day too. Wow, it's it's one of us is finding it particularly funny though. All these things. <laughs> okay, Shezzy, and nice and relaxed, and sleep now, Shezzy, all the way down, loosely. I'll <laughs> catch your head. Oh my god, I'm... she's asleep. I've held it. I'm holding it. Shezzy, nice and relaxed. <laughs> so, Shezzy. As you sit there, relaxed, feeling fantastic, now we've, now we've got you feeling great. And that's, that's what we like. We like a bit of positivity here. And um, I, I've actually, I've, I've, uh, I've learned a lot about you, Chesie, you know, and um, you, you provided me a bit of information. And, uh, I, and one thing I know is that initially you weren't too, you weren't too enamored with your, your, your name. But um, over the time, you've, you've kind of embellished that sometimes. And I know you've, there's a very long made up full name that's somewhere in your imagination that uh, you insist we use. So when I say one, two eyes open going twice as deep, you know, if myself, Grant or George happens to call you Shezzy, well, you're obviously you're going to correct us because you're going to insist that we use that very long name. No, that very long name you've got in your imagination somewhere. And uh, we can't just call you Shezzy, of course, because to you, you, you demand respect. You need to be called by that full name. Just nod your head if you understand there, Shezzy. Okay, yeah, there it is there. Good. So here we go. One, two, and eyes open, going twice as deep. Hey! Ah, oh, wow. Shezzy looking pretty relaxed there. <laughs> Sorry. Um, no? I'm not sure if uh, if anybody's told you my, what? what's Grant and my full name? Yeah, Grant and... Um... Shezzy and Collect Curls, Jane, Elizabeth, Emily, Sarah, Denya. It's it's a long one. Wow, that is a long one. Yeah, but it has um, it comes with meaning, so it's how. What? But uh, we can, yeah. we can just call you Shezzy, though, right? No, Shezzy and Collect Curls, Jane, Elizabeth, Emily, Sarah, Denya. Yeah, that's yeah. what's that seven or eight names? I don't know, but I've had it. But that's my name. I've had it since I was a child. Yeah, so, it seems quite a yeah. lot to use just in a conversation, though. Um, um it's just my formal name. What, so, what happens when someone wants, you know, when you're ordering a coffee and they say, what's your name? Do you say Shezzy? Shezzy Ann, Colette Curls, Jane, Elizabeth, Emily, Sarah, Denya. It used to be um, Shezzy Ann, Colette Curls, Jane, Elizabeth, Emily, Sarah, Rogers, but now it's yeah. Denya since I've been married. Yeah. You know that. Yeah, I do. It's, yeah. A, yeah, I mean, it's that, a long personalised number plate, but um, she, yeah. she's <laughs> yeah. determined to stick with it. Mm. Yeah. I, lo I love to see it when it's written on those cups at Starbucks as well. It's just this. <laughs> Interesting. I mean, things must get pretty tricky when people just simply call you Shezzy, surely. 
Yeah, so I, my name was Cheryl, but I never mm. liked Cheryl, so it was Shezzy um, mm. from when I worked at Sunrise. And I, Anne, because Anne was the middle name that I was given, and Colette was my um, co- confirmation name. Um, yeah, the others, it, it, it all runs together and I've had it since I was about eight. So it's a bit of a mouthful, but if you say it really quickly, it's really easy. It just rolls off the tongue. How quickly can you say it? Shezzy, Shezzy and Collectors, Janice, Bill, Don't you? That's yeah. probably not that quick. I was just thinking, GD, um, we should still keep the podcast title as It's All True with Grant and Shezzy. Hmm. Shezzy Ann Collect Curls, Jane, Elizabeth, Emily, Sarah, Denya. I'd like that on there, please. I don't think there's enough space, though. Change as well. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if Spotify will let us kind of put it um, on there with that well, many. It definitely needs to be in the bio because that's my entire name. Okay. Yeah. We, we, yeah, uh, we can well, do that. Can, in the bio. Hmm. Could we maybe sacrifice some of the other words? Any other words in the title we could sacrifice, which may allow us to get some of that probably with grant maybe just with <laughs> shezzy yeah, and okay, Earls, yeah. jane elizabeth emily sarah denya and <laughs> you want to remove my name from the podcast <laughs> your name is gd so that doesn't take up much space <laughs> so i i get bumped because you've got eight words in your name they're not words they're names, names. sorry you're right they're, they're, and they're yeah, very okay. important to me each one has yeah. a very specific meaning yeah now well, do you, well, you okay if the girls um call you just Shezzy for short? What girls? You, our daughters. They call me mum. Yeah, apart mum, from... Mum, Shezzy, Ann, Colette, Curls, Jane, Elizabeth, Emily, Sarah, Denya. <laughs> he knows this. You know this. You know that I can't, this is I, serious. I can't believe, I can't believe you, you didn't message me before grant and, and sorry, Matt. tell me yeah. the level of respect That's that okay matt you don't know yeah. you don't know yeah me. yeah no i'm so i'm so sorry shezzy and collect curls jane elizabeth emily sarah the more you say it the easier it will get say it, it with me though. shezzy, shezzy and, and collect and curls and jane, jane, elizabeth jane, emily sarah sarah Denya. Denya. Yeah, yeah, just you should know I've been married yeah. 14 years now. I know, but I, yeah, sometimes it just, if I need you in a hurry, I just say Shezzy for time sake reasons. Mm. So are you telling me now that Shezzy on its own is not okay? It's My name, Grant, is Shezzy and Collect Curls, Jane, Elizabeth, <laughs> Emily, Sarah, Denya. I hope everyone's watching on YouTube right now, whether you follow the It's All True podcast uh, via your favourite podcast app. But if you do watch on YouTube, it makes... Watching these episodes so much more enjoyable. I'm sure <laughs> well, that you put it in the subtitle. It will go in the oh bio. <laughs> well, maybe we should do this. Uh, Shezzy, sleep now. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, like, and Grant catches her again. <laughs> I had to do that quick. I had to get that sleep now in between before the Shezzy and the sleep now. Just to, yeah, just. To... <laughs> We're good. So, so here's now. Look, this is this is this is beautiful. And like you alluded, like if you. If you watch this uh, on YouTube, you, you're going to see what's happening as well. And I think this is a beautiful moment because I'm looking at the screen here. And, of course, I see George's beautiful face here as well. But, but what I'm mainly focusing on right now is I can I can see Shezzy and, and Grant in a beautiful tender moment. And, you know, obviously, h- how long is it you've been together? It's, it's a long time, right? 14 years you married. Yep. 14 years married. Yeah. And it's a beautiful relationship. And you can see you deeply care and love love each other and she's a carer she's a she's a loving personality she she likes to make sure everyone's okay and of course we've seen that uh, this year and, and, and you know thank god that you, you you were together when all these things have been happening but but you know she she did actually say she likes to baby you a little bit you know yeah. so um this is going to be quite interesting because shezzy when i say one two eyes open going twice as deep not only do you like to baby grant you're actually going to talk to Grant like he's a baby. Of course, of course he's grown up. Of course he's an adult. But you're going to talk to him like he's a little baby. But, of course, you are very protective of him, of course. You're very protective of our uh, baby Grant. That um, anything that George says, doesn't matter how nice or normal, you actually think he's picking on Grant or being sarcastic. And you'll let him know that, you know, Stay away from our oh, Grant. That's not very nice. So anything that George says about Grant, no matter how nice or normal, you'll think he's picking on him. And, of course, when you talk to Grant, you'll talk to him just like his little baby. Just nod your head if you understand there, Shezzy. Yes, there we go. So 
Chezzy, one, two, eyes open, go twice as deep, eyes open, sit up, open those eyes. There we go. There we go. Hey. Yeah. Hey, Welcome Grant. back. Oh, it's just, oh. Can I just say, man, I'm so proud of you with this new TV gig, Deal or No Deal. It's such what? an awesome George. achievement. George. 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 Thank you, buddy. Yeah. Chezzy. What's up? Yeah, yeah, I'm okay. Do you have a drink? No, I don't need a drink. Okay, thank you though. I feel a little bit hot. Yeah, it's it's a bit warm. Yeah, I've sure. been laughing, just having a really good time, and my body temperature's gone up. Do you think something wrong with me? Oh, thank you for holding on oh, my my face. I appreciate it. Oh, hey, um, oh, I, got I really like. Oh, yeah. oh my goodness, um, I like those headphones too. You're wearing. I will have to get the brand off you this after this awesome. podcast. Mine are playing up a bit at the moment. Yeah. Oh. George, don't do that. Oh, I was just asking about the, the headphones. Who today? Oh, stop picking on him. AKG. Okay, AKG. 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 Yeah, respond. okay. George, yeah. just be, yeah. just remember, be really nice with you. Yeah. Please. Okay? Absolutely. Thanks for asking Absolutely. me, George. How, how about this? Um, how about this? I lost all my clothes today. Could I please borrow some off you? Yeah, I can send you some shirts. Don't mate. answer that. George. We need to have a really serious chat. I don't know what's got into you. This is not your usual behaviour. I'm disappointed. You're look. You're making him really upset. Okay, he's had a really rough week. He seems to be happy. He's just putting it on. He's a very good actor. <laughs> Stop, okay, George. Has it? Hey, Shezzy, has he? Sorry, Matt. Has, has, sorry, I'm just wondering if if Grant's behaviour. Maybe he's got a little bit of wind trapped. He's got a little bit of wind trapped there. Uh, maybe. Oh, maybe. I just want to just make sure. She's patting me on the back, Matt. Yeah, oh, just oh. make sure. Oh, that's okay. Cool. Let's move, okay, it's move that cat. Yeah, a little burp. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Good. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it might have been. I think I did eat my lunch a bit Good. quick. Okay. Thank you, Shazzy. Yeah. You want to go and have a yeah. little stretch out? No, yeah, okay. I think I'm okay. I think I'll sit here and have a good time with you guys. But thank okay. you. Right. Do you uh, Chezzy, do you think do you think he really knows what's best for him though? No, no, yeah, he doesn't it's... know what's best for him. He would just push through. He has no idea. So yeah, oh, poor bit. Well, if you I've need, I've got to look after if... him. Yeah, yeah, that's all right. Let's just make sure. I've been making lots of TV shows lately. Um, yeah. yeah. Oh, she's licking my face. I've got a bit of licks on there. She's wiping. Yeah. I was just going to say, yeah, the hair's on fleek. you are sort of got a bit of a seasoned look happening at the moment. I, I, I like that. George, my God, I'm so sorry. Hang on a second. George. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. Why are you being so mean to Grant? <laughs> he just um, had his hair done today. He just had his hair cut. Yeah, you're, him, you're making him I, feel inadequate. It's I, really out of thanks for noticing that, George. I did, I did get it done today, so thanks. Yeah, thanks for asking. Is it no like, worries. I didn't mean to cause any harm. You could, you could probably say how nice he looks, don't you think? I, I think he looks absolutely terrific. Yeah. What's going on with him? I'm so sorry. That's okay. That's right. He might be just having a bad day. Yeah, I think he is. We all have bad days sometimes. You don't need yeah. to listen to me, Dave. Okay. Right. Yeah. So I love good. You. Yeah, I, lo- I love you okay. too. And I'm really, yeah. really proud of you. Thank you. Your hair looks amazing. Thank you, Thank my, you. my love. I'm pr- pretty happy with how it came out. Thank you for so such nice. supportive words. Yeah. Matt, That's she's, good. um, what a love, uh, how lucky am I? I know, very lucky. That's you, super <laughs> lucky. Actually, I, don't, <laughs> I think you're still getting burped at the moment, are you? I, I'm still getting burped. <laughs> I don't even know if he has more traps <laughs> oh, You need to know, yeah. <laughs> He's, he's a little tired. Oh, he's a bit tired. He is a bit tired, isn't he? No, do you want to make sure he's? Do you want to? Do you want to have a little lie to, down? We've had a little yeah. uh, one of our daughters um, in our bed, you know, because she wasn't feeling so well. Yeah, so we didn't sleep yeah. as good, did we? No, yeah. we didn't sleep very good. I'm so sorry. Okay. It's okay. So, have you, Grant? You're just so lucky to have such a wonderful wife by your side. I must say, George. <laughs> honestly, <laughs> my God. I can't even. What's this wrong? is going to be really embarrassing for you. You keep picking on him. I've asked you several times now. Please just keep it under wraps. I don't think this is going to be a very good episode the way George episode. is behaving lately. Yeah, George, George, George is behaving. Jesus. Do you want what? to log out? Do you want to go? <laughs> Do you want to come back another George. time? I'm, look, Sorry. I'd love to stay. I'd love to stay because your beautiful oh. husband is such great company. I don't George. know, bro. You're a bit of a buzzkill. Just quietly. <laughs> 
Stop picking on him physically, thank you. So I don't know if you've got any other techniques that can maybe just help Grant take a little nap mm. right now yep. at all. Is there? Oh, is there, oh, yeah. oh. Just lay on my lap. Oh, jeez. Okay, just lay. Yep. <laughs> lay on my lap. Okay, just, yep. I might go sleep. Thanks, Matt. This is great. Just a, it's just a little nap there. Bet no, me she, over her knee if you're was. not watching on YouTube right now. I'm currently laying like a toddler. Oh, See, he, my, push my head down. He always gonna... wants to work. He just doesn't know <laughs> when it is know. time to wrap up. I know. That's it. it lucky lucky the... he's got you to obviously ensure he gets the right amount of rest and sleep. I'm back, guys. I've had a micro it's nap. Back. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> okay, Shizzy. Not... Shizzy. Yeah. Shizzy, can you just sleep now? Just nice and relaxed all the way down. Loose limb. <laughs> <laughs> we'll give Shezzy a chance to relax there. Right. So, bro, I can't. So, George didn't do this. George didn't. He, her head is like literally just collapses on my shoulder. I remember George just putting his head down. Yeah, because we gave we gave George a suggestion because he was on his own when we spoke to George to uh, that he'd always be supported by himself. So, gotcha. So, with you, with you there being the support and the rock that you are, um, it, it's perfect. But, uh, I, I don't, hey, I don't suppose you've got any water around there. Have you got a glass of water around you there, Grant, at all? Is there? Yeah, there's a yep, even, glass just next to Shezzy. Okay, that's perfect. All right, because um, let, let's do this. I, I, I want to make sure Shezzy feels amazing. So, Shezzy, this is great. In a moment, I will say one, two, eyes open, going twice as deep. When I say one, two, eyes open, going twice as deep, you'll open your eyes, go twice as deep, feeling absolutely incredible. However, here's the thing. There is a glass of water. Now, that water to you, though, is going to taste like your favorite red wine. I know you're a red wine drinker. You love your red wine. It's going to taste like the best red wine you've ever tasted. However, it will be super strong, super strong red wine. Now, it has all the good effects of alcohol, none of the bad. It has all the good effects, none of the bad. Um, but, of course, if you, if you sip even just a few sips, it may slur your speech. You'll definitely get giggly. It's got all the good effects, none of the bad effects. Um, but that water the more you sip it it's going to taste stronger and stronger but it is so tasty it's your favorite red wine ever nod your head if you understand there shezzy yeah i was looking forward to that one <laughs> so here we go so one two eyes open going twice as deep there we go oh well this has been a lot of fun again um this beautiful uh, uh, uh oh sorry i just need to take a sip of my water here oh. Yeah, good idea. We've been doing a lot Sorry of about that. Oh, yeah, you, everyone got glass of water yeah. just to yeah, keep hydrated there. There we go. Ooh. Ooh, What's that? What was that? What's wrong? You right? Mm. Yep. What is it? Mm. Oh, it must be the new filter on the tap. Have a taste of that. I did change the filter over. Yeah, have mm. a taste of that. Tastes like Max's Shiraz. Makes it sure as well. Ooh, that's it's, pretty pretty delicious. That's nice, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Well, can you just drink it pretty easily? Yeah. Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. Well knock yourself out. Yeah, yeah. take a take a take a <laughs> Wow. That's yeah. a that, was a big, that was a big yeah. sip. <laughs> yeah, that was a big sip. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Sorry, you okay. Can... No, that's all right. Sorry. No. It's yeah, okay. um you, you, mm. you, you can't have a drink. Have you got any mm. have you got any more there? Is this ah. any more left in there? Chocolate vanilla. Chocolate okay. vanilla. It's, and yeah. Floral notes. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Oh, yeah. We'll have some it's, more then if it tastes that good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to start wow. making you gigg giggly in a moment. <laughs> You're right. It's getting hot. <laughs> hot on my Is it uh, got some kick? Does it? <laughs> I would have thought that. <laughs> yeah. Take a take a shot. Maybe take a shot of it. If yeah. there's any more left, take a shot of it. Yeah. Really go to town. Yeah, really get it in you. Yeah, yeah. Up you go. Come on, we're your amongst friends. I'm watching me now. Smashed it, man. Well, that's going to really make you slur your words now. God, jeez, that was a lot. Yeah. <laughs> I'm feeling pissed. What are you? <laughs> You're feeling pissed. I'm feeling pissed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get my word out. <laughs> I got those words out. Yeah. Can you say our three daughters' names for me right now? Oh, oh, what? Are you kidding me? Yeah, what are they? Slat. Snail. Snail. I'll give you another attempt. <laughs> 
What, what are our kids' I'm names? Truly, I lost me to say it. What are our kids' names? Slay, 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 slay. Move on. It's not slay. What's go to the second child? Snout, scout. Snout, scout. Yeah. Yep. And little. Not... Oh, Bank rolling. <laughs> So much to remember. Wow. Slay, son, lay. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Mum of the year right there. Well, cheers to that. I don't know. It was... What did it taste like? Max and Surratt. That's not um, really bad, hey? Eh? Yeah, oh. did you have the hiccups? No. Oh. We've got the hiccups now, have you? Oh, my goodness. It's really it's... lovely. Oh, it was very lovely. nice. Yeah, I think yeah. You might have a good afternoon if, if the water's oh. getting that good. I was not sure I'd be able to do drive the <laughs> kids up. You want me to pick the kids up for you? I don't know if you're safe to drive. Yeah, I'm... I think I'm over the limit. I think, yeah, over... I think you are. I think you might be over the limit just quietly. Yeah. Maybe, you don't, maybe don't operate any heavy machinery today. Yeah. yeah. Like a tractor. <laughs> You definitely don't get on a tractor. <laughs> uh, <laughs> hey, what's your full, full name? <laughs> oh, nice. Oh, my God. I need more water for this conversation. <laughs> yeah, what's <laughs> I don't know if you do, to be honest. <laughs> what's your full name when you're a kid? Cheryl. Full. And um, well, I can't speak from it. My lips are gone numb. <laughs> Rogers or Kenya, one of those. It doesn't really matter. Oh, oh wow. Well, if it's pronounced like that, I'm, I may even have a chance of remembering that one. <laughs> you do um, go and pick up the girls after school. And you think... get pulled over. Cool. What do you think you might say to the police officer? Yeah. Man, put a new pump in my... Um, filter on the pump and it's made a little water come out tasting like wine. <laughs> yeah, well, I did change the filter. I don't know if he'll he'll take that as an excuse, um, but yeah, you probably should mention it if you do, if you do pull, pull over. I don't think you'll blow point oh five. I can't be over the limit. It's only water. Isn't it? Yeah, Shazzy, what's that warm up we do before the podcast every time? That warm up, um, red oh. leather, yellow leather, over and over. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Red, little yellow, but above my lips, they're not working. Also, <laughs> <laughs> it's on a penis. <laughs> red, red. <laughs> oh, I can't do, do it. Do you reckon you could do a handstand right now? <laughs> no, I can't even do a handstand. <laughs> oh, <laughs> red, little yellow. So, Matt, um, <laughs> what's going yes. on? Um, but well, I'll tell you what, maybe maybe I'll do this. And, and Shezzy, I know you can hear me and sleep now, all the way down, loose limp, comfortable and relaxed. So ha- how how are we there, Grant? Oh, my God. She went from, like, completely sober to hammered <laughs> in, like, 0.2 of a second. Like, that was... <laughs> And ext- that that was that wasn't just someone who all of a sudden is talking slightly, you know, different, saying different things than they would normally say. It was a physical, full body response. She was swaying, and she had like little control over her mouth, and her thought processes was, were scrambled, just like if you were inebriated. Yeah, it's cra- it's crazy. I mean, just the mind is so amazing, and the, and the the fact that she could actually create that. Yeah, scenario in a in a head, so it feels so real. It's, it's just amazing. So so look, I think I think it's tri- it's time for us to 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 get Shezzy back to us into uh, to normal Shezzy, and we'll, and we'll have a we'll have a little debrief and a chat or, or whatever you want to talk about. But um, sh- should we do that? Should we bring it back? Yes, please, mate. You lead it. Okay, cool, easy. So um, so Shezzy, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna count from one to five. When I get from one to five, um, all the suggestions from this experience will be removed. You're gonna feel fantastic awake aware refreshed in every single way every bit of positivity you've taken from the experience will remain with you and of course every bit of positive mind use every bit of happiness and joy will obviously spread itself through your life a lot easier so let's let's do this so one uh just keep those eyes closed a moment till the number five but one just sitting up straight in your seat take a deep breath in and out sitting up there 
That's it. You can sit up straight there. There you go. Two, all your nerves, energy, body temperature starting to return to normal, feeling good. Three, take a nice energizing breath in and out with me. In and out, good. Four, it's like a nice rush of cool, fresh air, just cleansing your whole body from top to toe. And before I get to this final number, if there's anything you've been working on in your life or anything you want to achieve or any you know, thing that's still to tick off your list or just a different way you want to feel about different things or anything in general, whether it's a goal or a you know, some achievement you've got locked in your mind, something you've always wanted to do. Before I get to that final number, I just want you to take 10 seconds. Just imagine that you are already there. Imagine that you've already experienced it. Imagine that has already happened and you are on that successful side of that. We're going to do that for 10 seconds. Keep those eyes closed for 10 seconds and do that right now. Just lock your mind around that. There we go. Just really, really make it feel as real as possible. There you go. I yeah, really enjoy every second. Good. And three, two, one, and five. Open those eyes just as quickly or slowly as those suggestions take place. Feeling amazing. We'll give you a nice little round of applause. Oh, well that done. is a hey. lot of fun. <laughs> hey. oh, I feel like I've <laughs> pulled a couple of muscles. <laughs> How you doing? Good. Yeah, I feel very sleepy. Very, uh, you look really relaxed, Matt. So, yeah. what what kind of conversation can we have with with Shezzy now? Mm. I, mean, I mean, Shezzy is back to Shezzy, the normal Shezzy. Uh, but what I will say is that when you've had this little experience, then it is a bit like, oh, I've just woken up for a dream. So sometimes, you know, you know, it's if you were to sit there for even just a few minutes with your eyes closed and then suddenly open them, you know, you're just going to start, oh, okay. Just need to kind of you know, refresh myself, get back into you know normal, normal energy and and, and life. But um, yeah, so I mean, are we able to you know, talk about her experience with her now? That what that won't disrupt abs- anything. No, no, absolutely no. We're, no, we're good. Our, our work as such here is done, and so we're we're back to chatting like normal. Yeah, mate. Oh my god, that was oh, insane. Oh, that I, was so good. I I don't know what you remember or what you know. I remember a lot of that. I. I feel very disappointed in George. (laughs) (laughs) I know that's that's fake, but I feel like... So do you remember how that was set up? Uh, So Matt Matt suggested that everything that that George says, no matter how nice, you would would consider to be deeply offensive. And I was a little toddler and I needed comforting and I needed protection (laughs) from George being a meanie. Yeah, yeah everything right. I said was mean. Right. You played along well because that, yeah, I still have this. Um, he was giving nothing but compliments. So. I was, it was just, just saying how you. <laughs> he wanted to know what brand of headphones I had, and you were like up him for the oh rent for God. daring to ask such a horrible question. That's yeah, so you were like, don't horrible. answer that. And then he mentioned he missed how all his clothes were stolen. Or was that a different moment? I can't remember now. They're all starting to blend myself. Uh, and then you were into oh, him. Oh, no, for- I do remember. I do remember you saying that all your clothes were stolen and I could not stop. I was laughing. Oh, that's what you were laughing. Sorry, that was the laughing. You thought one. it was hilarious. I not stop myself. Yeah, and you were talking about one of the kids breaking their toes and it was so true and I was thinking <laughs> – it's just not the right time to laugh, but I, but I couldn't help it. It was like someone was tickling me from behind. You're right. That's where we did start. It was the everything yes. Matt said, suggested that everything that everyone says you would find an ever-growing amount of hilariousness. What so, are your three course, kids' names again, Chezzy? Sailor, Scout, and Sunday. Oh, no, she's yeah. so high. You're I'm, on I'm, I'm, gl- I'm, gl- I'm, gl- I'm glad we got that locked in. That's okay. <laughs> You know, the funny thing is that I've been so tense all day today and I thought this is a really oh. bad day to do this because I'm not going to be able to be hypnotised and this oh. is going to be very ineffective. Um, Mate, you went, you collapsed onto me the moment you go to sleep and the moment he calls you out of it, you were straight into whatever scenario he had created for you. Yeah, that is so, it's so weird because there's not a huge amount of prep for you to to do that and just to remind everyone there was a little 15 minutes you guys spent together prior to me coming in george coming in yeah. um, so, which we're not a part of um but incredible that kind of result so do you uh, for everyone listening when you, i've never been under are you aware of what you're doing yeah 
I think so. It just makes sense know. to you at the time. I don't know. I just believed it. Wow. I, I always, um, I always say that like the, the most common uh, experience people seem to have is that you're aware of what you're doing. You just don't seem to question it at the time. So, mm-hmm. you know, you know, if 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 this was just like normal life, and we said, "Hey, just drink that glass of water. It's going to taste like really strong alcohol," you'd be like, "Yeah, well, it doesn't, does it?" Right? <laughs> but but at, for some reason, like you're aware but you're not questioning it. So whatever that little voice, which would be saying like, well, that would be stupid. That'd be ridiculous. Or why would that happen? That that's kind of a lot quieter at that point. So your frontal cortex isn't questioning things as much. It just goes along and it is open to suggestion at that point. Right. So do you remember yeah, yeah. taking a swig? He told you that that was a I really. I remember it yeah. all. I remember. Yeah. I remember it all. It feels like <laughs> um a bit hazy, but yeah, I remember. I'm yeah. Remember you were remember... slurring like crazy <laughs> yeah i remember that was very frustrating i was thinking oh this is embarrassing it, it was like your mouth had had a stroke yeah <laughs> that's what it felt like it's so it's so powerful it really is it is yes and and, Sh- and shazzy how long did that like from the from the moment we kind of first i know, popped you back under right at the start how, how long did that feel like that little section we just did with you just then oh it feels like maybe 10 minutes yeah, okay, yeah, 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 it's interesting. I, I think we probably went for 15, 20 with that, I think, something like that. So, mm. yeah, you, you, your time kind of gets a little distorted. So, mm. um, yeah. It's, 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 I know it's you so intimately. Like when, you, when we did it to George, it was hilarious. But we're also, you know, George is in North Queensland, we're in, in, in Bathurst, so it's sort of through a Zoom. Being next to you and watching that process be undertaken is extraordinary because the person who I know so intimately every single day of the last 16 years all of a sudden transforms into a completely different personality which is frightening and exciting at the same time right because it's just you don't think it's bloody possible but somehow Matt bloody hail it bloody is and you did it and, and well, over shitty internet too how does that happen you got look I, I I I always do say though you know like you know it's it's a collaborative process. You know, you've got to be the one who focuses that imagination in, you know, it, it's, we're, we're working on this together, but you know, in, incredible, in, incredible way you were able to do that today in such a short space of time. So is there ways, Matt, in, obviously, so the mind, as you said many times today, is a, an incredible thing and you could bring back memories from her childhood and make them a prominent uh, core memory today that she lives by. But uh, uh, is there little things that we can do to ourselves as humans Mm. If the mind is so powerful that we can yeah. we can improve every day, is it is it visioning? Is it manifesting? Like, what's if the, if yeah, the mind look, is so powerful? How can we be, how can we better use it? Visualization is a, is a real core skill to be able to kind of get where you want to go and, and achieve something you want to achieve. Because the more you've imagined it, the more your brain has got used to that idea. That will sit in the back of the mind so that when things kind of come along that may help that, you're much more likely to kind of go, oh, there's an opportunity that will get me forward to that. There's an opportunity to get me forward to that. Whereas if you kind of like go, yeah, you know, I'd like a, you know, like a, I'd like a hundred thousand dollar car and that's all you say. And that's great. Whatever. <laughs> Never think of it again. But, you know, if you, if you were to sit there and think, oh yeah, God, what dealer, what dealership would I go get that? And like, Oh, what would that feel like sitting in that leather seat? Or what, you know, when you're really picturing, like, where would I be driving that? Da 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 da. You know, and what color? You know, what the wheels going to look like that? So that, you know, then when you start going out, out, out and about, and you start, oh, there's another one of those, and then and, you know, it, it helps remember, it helps make you keep that top of mind. So I think, even if you spend thirty seconds a day just like living, like living a little dream moment of like, what would it feel like? What would it sound like? What would it look like, you know, that thing I want to achieve or the way I want to feel, the thing I want to change about myself? You just sit there, even 30 seconds, obviously the more time you can put it on the better, but you've just spent 30 seconds just like really immersing yourself in that beautiful thought. Give it as much color, as much sound, whatever you want to, what do you want to do? And, and remember, but people think and see differently. So when I say, you know, see this in your mind, it, we're not saying like if you think of an elephant, you know, oh, yeah, I can see an elephant there. It's just like the thought of an elephant or the thought of whatever you're trying to do. But that thinking and wrapping your head around will then live somewhere in the back of your mind. So the more you do that, it keeps it top of the mind. Like I said, when those opportunities come past, much easier for your brain to go and go, oh, 
there's something that's going to help you for that thing. Right, that so it helps you find the little stepping mm. stones on the way to that end goal. It helps you see those stepping yeah. stones a little clearer. Because you talk about, you yeah. hear a lot about athletes who talk about visualizing themselves either crossing the line first or standing on the podium or shaking yeah. the, the champagne. And obviously yeah. that has it like it gives your body permission to succeed sort of yeah. thing. Mm. And here's a really good one. And I'm not sure if, if you do this in your driving career as well, but do you go through your circuits in the, in the, in your head? Definitely. Yeah. You, you go through every corner, every braking marker, yeah. where you're turning in, where you're hitting the throttle. Yeah. You do that mentally. Yeah. And, and that yeah, makes that, a big difference. That's, that is exactly what I'm talking about because you are mentally preparing. So of course, when you see a corner, you're going to turn the corner. Of course, when you know the straight, you know, you know, how much gas you want to get and all those kind of things. But if you know, that it's going to feel like this, it's going to feel like that. I can see it already. You know, your mind is already, it, it, it finds it very hard to distinguish between the real and the imagined. So it feels like it's been there before. So, of course, that's exactly what you're doing when, you, when you're, do, you know, doing that mental rehearsal for, for your racing. And, and, and are you, I mean, you can literally get on YouTube and see some of the, F1 drivers just sitting in a lounge chair with a with just just a steering wheel and 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 it's really good because you can actually see how close they are to the actual real circuit. Obviously, there's some overlays where they show you you know if it was actually the real circuit how how close they are to that. So yeah, what it what it does for me is doing it mentally means that when you go to do it actually, your brain is not as it's not working as hard. It's not seeing everything for the first time and trying to figure it out as you go. It goes yes. I know that I yep. can see it. Yep. This is exactly yep. where you're supposed to be. This is exactly where you're supposed to do that. And you do it. Yep. It sort of yep. almost halves the workload and just makes it more instinctual rather than arriving hot at the scene going, ah, how do I figure it all out? You know what I mean? Yeah. It, it, yeah. 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 And of course it's not, you, obviously it's, you, it's not going to go exactly how you see in your head, uh, you know, to, to the actual tiniest detail, but your brain's going to try and edge it as much as possible to that way. And, you know, if I talk to people about, public speaking, you know, you know, people hate public speaking in general, you know, in general, one, yeah, it's a massive fear of people with public speaking. And so, but, but that's someone who's like, just so nervous about going up and going doing this. But, you know, if they spend two or three minutes each day, just seeing like, okay, how do I walk, want to walk up to the podium to do this talk? Okay. You know, I want to look out and see that 300 people and they're all look at me attentive. They're smiling. They're hanging on my every word, you know, so, suddenly, you know, suddenly the thought that makes you feel pretty good about it. And of course that's imagined, but you know, so when you do walk into that room cold, it still feels a bit warm, you know, like yeah, it still yeah. feels like you've been there. So, I mean, we're, we're talking about the same thing across all different situations. What if people can't visualize? I've heard some people say before in various um, yep. things that they, they don't feel that they can visualize successfully. Can everybody yeah, so, visualize? Yeah, well, actually, that, that's interesting because there is something called, and I hope I've got this term right, I think it's aphantasia. I've got a friend of mine who, who's, who, who uh, has been doing a lot of talks about this lately. But that is that I, I think when we all say, you know, picture this or think of this, we might all be experiencing that differently. So someone might be able to close their eyes and just see every detail of a building and go, I can see it. it's almost like it's in front of me. And someone else might like, well, I kind of know what a building looks like. I can almost see an outline of it, but, you know, I'm just getting colours or whatever. And someone else might close their eyes and, you know, they, they can't really see anything as a picture, but it's almost like a feeling of what a building hmm. looks like in real life. Matt, do you, do you only do this for entertainment purposes? I might have asked you this last time. Or do you actually do sessions with people to overcome some things that are in their subconscious, whether it be, you know, smoking or public speaking, like you said, or any other conditions that they're deeply affected by? No, just uh, just for entertainment and criminal purposes. <laughs> just, for, just for anything like bank heists. Um, oh, I, could, you know. I can picture that. Yeah, go I over there like, yeah. and bring me out $5 million from that. But okay. Mm, boy, this water tastes good. Yes, I can picture that. Go and pick up, no. you know, a stick, it's a gun. <laughs> like you'd have to go you like could have the whole so much army. fun messing with people, man. No, so so, but but the uh, genuinely no, I it, doing uh, the the more goal orientated uh, um, parts of hypnosis and, and sessions with people was something I, I I did 
quite often. I just don't do it very often now. And more often when I do that now, it, it's not so much on a one-on-one -on -one basis. It's more in a group. So I might, uh, mm -hmm. I've been working with a lot of corporate groups and we might go and, and you know, speak to 40 or 50 people. Now, of course, not everyone's going to be like a perfect hypno hypnotic subject. So what I'm going to use uh, some general techniques which involve some of my kind of like tools from my hypnotic tool belt, but mm -hmm. it's going to be something that people, that everyone can still get some kind of result from so yeah all those things you know smoking anxiety weight sleep even fear of flying things all, yeah. all sorts of things like that yeah I, i've done a lot of different things with different people um but at the moment the the shows have just been so such a busy schedule that it, it's actually hard for me to find time to do that at the moment well but, do you want to give yourself a, a, a plug where people can find you yeah i see this is one of your shows yeah well this is really great timing because We've just announced, oh, I don't know, close to 40 or 50 shows at the moment because um, we're doing, and when I say we're, that's because I talk about myself and, and my wife, who's my producer, uh, Catherine. Um, so uh, we've just announced, I think, 20-ish shows at Fringe World in Perth. Uh, that's the Fringe World uh, Festival in Perth, uh, mid-January, um, about 20 shows there. And then also we then go to Adelaide and do another 20 shows there at the Adelaide Fringe Festival. And those literally just went on sale last week. So they're, they're the two big festivals before we head to Edinburgh later in the year. But um, I know last time I spoke to you, I was running my uh, top fun 80s themed hypnosis show, which is uh, <laughs> still one of the show, uh, show shirts. Since the last time I spoke to you, it has gone so nuts. That show went so nuts. It went so crazy. Yay. It went viral on TikTok and everything's been... Everyone's been mad over the last year with that show. So we're not ready to give that show up. So we've actually done a remix of that show. So it's got the same vibe, the same theme. We're just going to put a few different routines. So if someone saw the show last year, they still get to see some new stuff in the new one. Um, but I'm also working on New South Wales tour at the moment. So we're hoping to get some dates out for New South Wales. And then we're going to have some other dates dotted around the country, um, hopefully in the first half of 2024 as well. And where's the best place so, to find you on your socials and a website? Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm across every social platform, but you'll find me very easily on Facebook, uh, Insta, uh, TikTok. If you if just put, obviously, if you just put Matt Hale Hypnotist in, you'll find me very easily. But if you put at Hypno Hale is the actual, is the actual handle, but at Hypno Hale, Facebook, Insta, TikTok, I'm across everything. But those three are probably my biggest ones. Always feel free to um, send me a message. And like I said at the end of uh, last time's podcast, anyone who's listened to this today, I, I, I would love to connect with you. Send me a DM on any of those platforms and I will send you a, uh, a digital copy of one of my books for free as a, as a wow. thanks for engaging and having a, a nice chat. We did that last time. It was lovely to hear from so many people, but it, this, this is, has been just as much fun as last time. So. George, uh, before we go, before we let Matt, Matt Hale move on to his, his normal life of being a rock star yes. of the hypnotist world, what was it mm. like watching someone else now go under after your experience last time? Which was insane. That was the most hilarious thing ever. And I felt like I, I didn't want to um, sort of laugh too much and, and interrupt the experience. Um, but it was, yeah, so much fun. I, I, I loved it. Um, Matt, I think you should probably go into a, um, a business. I've got an idea for you. Um, instead of people buying a carton of beer or alcohol or whatever to have a lit time, as the kids say, um, a carton of Matt Hale, you get a carton, there's a video of you putting them under and they can get drunk without a hangover. <laughs> cheers, cheers to that. <laughs> <laughs> and it's good for you. <laughs> mm. Yeah. You feel great afterwards. That is so funny. Yeah, I love that. That I, is so funny. Does it mean that every time I drink water now, I think that I'll be drinking red wine? No, you'll be fine. Don't you worry about that. You'll be fine. <laughs> Damn it. Although, although, Grant, Grant, get in touch if you want me to reactivate at any opportune moment. Just <laughs> yeah, thank you. Yeah, you know, I enjoyed being burped. It's been a long time. I got to. I got to say, the fact that, that that gas just sort of really oh. moved through my body, and it had been stuck for a, a week or two. So. I, you know, it was nice God. to regress a little and be in yeah. the tender arms of my wife who, uh, and rather than just sort of doing out, you know, outdoor household chores, it was nice to have a little nine eye on her lap, uh, whether I liked it or not. I really Beautiful wanted moment. to check your nappy, which is why <laughs> <laughs> Jesus I'm like trying really hard to pull myself away from that. Yeah, oh my God. <laughs> yes. I could have gone nuts. I'm glad when I said, you reckon you can do a handstand, Matt? It's like, nope, I don't think it's a good idea. <laughs> 
I can't do hands. Matt Hale, you're the best. We really appreciate you spending another hour with us. Thank you. Hilarious. Look, if you're wanting just an incredible night out, you won't believe the experience that happens, whether it go whether it's you or someone that you're sitting with or around or someone else in the audience. You've it's got an to incredible do it. experience. He's an absolute master of his craft, and uh, we're so lucky to have had you here today. So thank you so much, Matt Hale. Uh, really, really appreciate it. Uh, thank you so much, and uh, and lovely, lovely to see you again. Hopefully you won't be uh, so long again. We'll see you in real life at some point. Yeah. All the best, mate. You take care, time. okay? Thanks, Thanks Matt. Everyone. Bye. 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 <laughs> oh, you Grant next wow. time. You look blissed out, man. Yeah, it's the weirdest thing. When I walk feeling. in, you look completely physically different to than you were when you went into this room and had your little session with him. Yeah, you were just I'm nervous to watch it back. You know you though. only said hi when we when we logged on to this <laughs> podcast. That was it. I remember George's eyes when when yes. we did it. Yes, I remember how weird that looked. I'd be interested to know if that he had this little – you didn't have a smile on. He had that little cute little smile where he just looked like he didn't have a care or a trouble in the world. Yeah. But you just looked well-rested. Yeah, yeah I, I think felt, this afternoon uh, for you, Shazzy, is going to yeah, be really, I feel like really I've nice. pulled a couple of muscles because – It's because um, your head would collapse on the side. Yeah. He, when he was like, um, I guess, checking to see if it was working and he was like, okay, fall asleep. And I was thinking, oh, this is not going to work. And then the next minute I'm like, whoa. And he was saying, okay, but you're going to fall asleep and you're going to fall deep, but you're not going to fall off your chair. You're going to, like, rest on anything that you can. And oh. so I was getting really annoyed because I knew that I was falling on your arm, but I couldn't stop. It's like, it's, no way. Yeah, it's very. Oh, I thought you would almost not be able to do it. I so thought you would I. be not susceptible. So did I, especially today. So do you reckon maybe the being open to sort of alternative health and different forms of treatment kind of makes you open to new cons? Look, you booked him in, so maybe that makes you open to it because you I wanted still him don't on. feel like it really worked. Oh fucking hell, it worked. Yeah, no, I still feel like. Well, no, when I say that, I yeah, I don't know. Like the the water. Tastes like red wine. Like when it tastes like red wine. You were slurring and swaying and laughing and you couldn't speak. It was <laughs> amazing. I know. And I got all hot, you know, when you have, yeah, when you, you feel like that. you've had, Too yeah, much. a bit to drink. Yeah. George, did you, did you, did you notice a lingering kind of effect from when it happened to you last time? Was there anything that sort of stayed with you ongoing? Yeah, I think um, in the afternoon I um, had this, yeah, sense of still being, um, yeah, underneath his spell, I guess you could say, but I was super relaxed. Um, I was keep on, I, I kept on reflecting on that, that imagery that I had in my head when he was like, you know what, um, think of the, the ideal outcome in life. And that really stuck with me for, a, I mean, it stuck with me till now. Um, so as I said at the beginning of the podcast, it was such a, a beautiful mm. experience. And he's so good at what he does. And I'll also add, um, he's a, a beautiful soul, a really great person. Um, we love having that on the podcast. Mm. I'm, well, you know what? This is going to save me so much money now that uh, we don't have to buy <laughs> Penfolds Maxes anymore. Yeah. Just she, can, my wife can go get tanked just going to the yes. sink in the kitchen, just pouring out some regular H two O. Oh, it's so funny. Yeah, I I really was looking forward to that last bit. I remember seeing George when he did that. You know, um, think of uh, something that you've been working towards, and you know, mm. it, and you're a lot closer to it. And I remember thinking, that's really nice. I want that. Yeah, so, I like that too. Yeah. I think that's a really lovely touch. Like, because yes, it's for entertainment purposes, but if he has the power to empower you yeah. to, to get closer to your dream or at least attach yourself onto that dream a little bit more strongly with more conviction, that's a nice gift to mm. finish with. Yeah, yeah, and I pictured a lot in those uh, 10 seconds. It felt like a lot longer than 10 seconds. Was um, it, did you picture um, a Hemsworth or like what? Hemsworth? <laughs> <laughs> what, was, what was your future goal? Well, I can't tell you. No, no, I? just keep it in your mind. I'm only joking. Yeah, no, uh, you're not joking. You actually want to know. <laughs> yes, you were involved. I was going, why are you licking your lips with your eyes closed? That's weird. <laughs> I'm going to create water into wine. Yeah. Um, Amazing. Well, yeah, I, that was, I've got to go. So That um, was fun. Thanks, everyone. wrap this up. Yeah. I'm uh, off to continue my blissness. Um, okay. Well, see, see you, George. Thanks for this. Good we, fun. Um, that was amazing. We love you. You're we'll the best, see you next Shazzy. week.
be true. Bye, y'all. It's all true. The podcast with Grant and Shezzy Denya. Bye, bye.